What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm showing you guys the Air Jordan 1, Celadon. Alright guys, these officially came out on Saturday for a retail price of $180. And these did take a little bit of time to sell out, but these did eventually sell out on the sneakers app. So you cannot find them there, but they are going for under retail already. But if you guys like green, brown, you know, olive colors like that, these are definitely going to be a pickup for you because these color schemes go really nice with everything. Now these do remind me of the Gatorade 6s, even though, you know, they don't have any white in them, but they do remind me of that shoe for some reason. But I did go with a size 9.5 on this. We don't get this to just retail on the box. And if you guys look at the box right here, we do get like a green and like a olive green, a light olive green on this box. Okay, open up the top of the box here. We do get a stamp on the top of the box, as you guys can see. We get an extra set of laces on these, and they come with like those olive green laces and this cardboard box because they are moving to zero they have been doing this for about a year or two now taking out this beautiful shoe right here guys these are pretty limited they weren't at foot lockers um we do get some regular tissue paper on the inside of the box and we get that white and green sticker in there as well now um like i said these were pretty limited you were able to get these at foot lockers you were only able to get these at boutiques or on the sneakers app from what i know of okay but this is the shoe here what do you guys think about it is it a copper drop for you guys let me know in the comments box below i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to hit the kobe's today that drop um i know i was supposed to do this video a couple days ago but you know with christmas and family in town and things like that i'm just getting to it now hopefully i'm able to hit those kobe's today on the sneakers app um i'm not feeling like going to new york today to try to do first come first serve because i don't want to deal with the hassle and whatnot but looking at the bottom of the shoe here we get like this green on the bottom of the shoe you see the nike with the swoosh down there and the very detailed stars looking at the midsole here we get the, like the aged out midsole on both the outside and the inside of the shoe Got some stale stitching coming up towards the base of the shoe here as you guys see we get this green suede which does have a pattern change i'm not sure if you guys can see that my hand moving past it but we also get some white leather on here kind of like a tumbled leather and as you guys can see on this swoosh and by the ankle area we get like this film like material so when you put your hand on it and scratch it you can hear what i'm talking about and it's outlined in a white now because we do get this exposed tongue on here and some really nice details on the shoe i do like the way the shoe is constructed let me know if you guys are feeling it as well but I feel like, you know, but going into 2024 and 2025, we need better technology inside of these shoes. Um, I'm not sure if you guys watched the upcoming of what was going to be presented to us in 2024. But, you know, they are getting back to like the original styles and, you know, the original model of a lot of shoes. But we need more technology in these shoes for the brand to go further, in my opinion. Um, you know, once you get all of the collectible items, you know, you're, you're thinking about okay what's next because now i already have that so now what's next and i'm pretty sure you guys are feeling the same way but let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments box below on both the outside of the shoe here we get the air jordan logo with the wings and the ball in the middle embossed right there pretty dope all right same thing on the inside of the shoe i don't see a lot of glue stains i see a little bit of stitching errors actually i do see a little bit of glue stains on the inside of my shoe right there nothing too crazy though you can't see these things from far away only up close and personal but this is a shoe the materials on this feel really nice and i see why it has sold out now and um this is definitely one of those shoes that is going to be a sleeper that people are going to regret later on in my opinion okay looking at the toe box here we do get this white on the toe box these will crease up pretty easily but i have a code of white davis on creasepiece.com to save yourself five bucks Looking at the mudguard here, we do see a little bit more of that sail with the sail stitching and the very detailed stars creeping up from the bottom of the shoe. Now these shoes did come unlaced and I did put, you know, one and one in the laces on these. Tell that, you know what I mean, it's not like a pure white. Um, but I do have the olive lace in the other shoe. Let me know which lace option you guys like better. We do get a sail tongue, kind of like a yellowish looking tongue on this. At the top here, it says Nike Air. We get the swoosh in the middle right there on the inside of the tongue and you guys can see that the tongue is exposed all right and we have to see with the details about the shoe where it's from and everything like that we do get some tissue inserts on these shoes the sock lining of the shoe isn't like an orange all right the production dates on this is 05 10 23 the 07 24 23 give you guys a quick look at that real fast looking at the actual insole of the shoe here this isn't the dream cell this is like the cheaper version of the dream cell um show you guys this real fast on the back as you guys see it doesn't say dream cell but on the front here it does say nike air we get the sizing sticker on top of the logo not on the bottom sometimes they do switch that and it does say nike air right there in white underneath the actual insole it is white we get a thin piece of tape in there white and orange stitching coming towards the back of the shoe that we get that same material on the swoosh kind of like that film material when you scratch it you can hear it now when you do put on your shoes you know normally this will crease up depending on how you put your shoes on but as you guys see these won't actually crease up and they'll just have like you know the rolls of the material or the 
creases of the material right there i'm really not sure how long that will last or if it will crease up after a while but you know it is what it is underneath that we see some more of that green suede with a little bit of white and orange back there and that's pretty much going to do it for this shoe guys all right i'm sure you guys my foot is in the toe box right now okay guys so this is what they like on feet pretty clean in my opinion now i'm a true size now i'm getting nine and a half on my shoes i did go up half a size on these and they feel really nice in my opinion and i do like it when my shoes unlaced like you guys see on the left right here and i have one laced up and i don't have any slippage on the left side as you guys can see just in case you guys are wondering and trying to go up half a size for a better wearing experience now this shoe is true to size fitting but if you want a better wearing experience go up half a size in my opinion showing you guys my foot is in the toe box right here so i'm wearing around but if you guys cannot tell my big toe is right here i do have a little little bit of space in the front of the toe box i don't really feel the material on the outside or on the inside i feel a little bit on the inside up here though but other than that they feel really nice on feet and i'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now hey guys so if you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe show your boy some love and stay tuned